right here we go. I'm gonna test tap water, rain water, remineralized distilled water and distilled water. First time I've done rain water, so it's gonna be interesting. Very low PPM on the rain water, 22, compared to the remineralized 48. Tap water, 246, two, what do we expect? Distilled water, 000. zero, zero. So as we know, I don't know, the tap water is just filled with sediment of all different kinds, over 300 contaminants, and only 22, about 20 of these are tested by the water companies. Look at the colour of that already. So you can see the lower the PPM, there's nothing, nothing showed up as electrical bonds are broken between the substances to reveal them from the electrocoagulation. I'm getting the colour now. Just a few more seconds into it as they're getting darker and darker. Right, the tap water's getting hot now, so I'm going to flick the switches off and then I'm going to let the water settle down for a little bit. You can see the colour here blue, light yellow, darker yellow, and just totally clear and if, if we look at this this could mean a number of things bacteria viruses carcinogens and arsenic mercury lead copper so all different heavy metals and then you've got the pharmaceuticals that's washed in there through the toilet systems into the water a lot to think about rainwater could have contaminants in the air most probably living in London but you know I'm probably way better than this. Making your own water, knowing there's no contaminants in it, knowing it's remineralized and distilled water, nothing in it all, but don't believe the information that's bad for you. It could be very beneficial as well in washing sediment out your body as like a detox or cleanse of all the sediment picked up from years of drinking this tap water. Thank you. Love and gratitude.